In the past few sections, we've talked about how to find the area of a particular shape. If we were going to find the area of this piece of cardboard, we would multiply the base times the height. Well, what if we didn't just want to find the area, but instead we wanted to find all that could be contained within this shape? Well, then we'd be trying to find the volume of the shape. In general, when you want to find the volume of a certain shape, you multiply the area of the base by the height of the figure. Now, in this case, the area of the base would be, okay, well, the base has a rectangular shape, so it would be length times width, and then you multiply it by the height. So the volume of this rectangular prism will be the length times the width times the height. Now, notice that before we were just working with two dimensions, the length and the width of a figure. Now, since we're working with volume, we have a third dimension to take into account. The height, or in other words, the depth. So we have a length, a width, and then we have that third dimension which makes things pop out at us, the third, the 3D of the height. Pause the video and take a moment to write down this chart. You've, given the, you've been given the general formula for, in order to find the volume of any prism so far, and its volume is equal to the area of the base times the height. This big B, this uppercase B, stands for the area of the base. Now, these shapes all have different bases. A rectangular prism has a rectangular base. A triangular prism has a triangular base. A trapezoidal prism has a trapezoid as a base, and a cylinder has a circle as a base. So in order, in order to find out what the formula for the volume of each prism is, is by replacing this big B with the formula for the area of the base. So let's start out with a rectangular prism. In order to find the volume of a rectangular prism, you multiply the area of the base, which let's just use base times height, times the height or the depth of the figure. This h is the same as the depth of the figure. Okay, so don't get frazzled by these two h's. These mean two different things. Okay, now in order to find the volume of a triangular prism, you multiply the area of the base, which is one half the base times the height, by the height or the depth of the figure. For a trapezoidal prism, you multiply the area of the base, base 1 plus base 2, divided by 2, times the height, by the depth of the figure. And for a cylinder, you multiply the area of the base, which is a circle, by the depth of the figure.